Joe Cook here with Rob Hampton. 21 points tonight. Big night for you. I mean, from the start, you really set the tone early, scored our first five points. I mean, what was the mindset for you going in, knowing, you know, that you had a losing streak on your head? Uh, I felt like I, I didn't play my best in these in this three game losing streak, and I felt like if I was if, if it was going to turn around, I guess maybe it was going to start with me. So I just came out and said, you know, I was going to be aggressive, play my best, and just everything was working in that. Now, how good is it to have Chris McEachin back in the lineup? Oh, it's great, man. It's like it's like it's like a breath of fresh air on offense. Like you know, you know when you penetrate and kick, you just got that confidence. Like you know, oh, it's going in. Or when he penetrate and kick, you just know, okay, I'm gonna get the ball. Or you know, it opens up the floor. So it's like the offense has a breath of fresh air. And, and for team defense, uh, what kind of clicked in the second half? You guys forced six turnovers in that second half after they, you know, really didn't turn the ball in the first half, only with three. But you guys forced six in the second half. Well, coach was saying in the locker room. He said, well, you know, guards he never singles us out, but come out and turn the guards over. So, you know, the whole backcourt, everybody, all the guards, we all took it at personal, and we all said, well, we're going to come out and we're going to force some turnovers to get our offense going. Turnovers equals transition, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, a lot of buckets, too. Where, where? Hey, look, Rob Hampton, 21 points tonight. Great game from him. Here with Kyle O'Quinn following the 76-68 victory over the Howard Bison. You end the losing streak, of course. Uh, 20 points for you, 15 rebounds, and five blocks. Could have got a couple more, a couple goal 10 calls, but you know, you the shot blocking machines, it's, it's all good. Two or five from the free throw line, that's not really like you, is it? Yeah, it's not, it's not. I mean, I don't know what it was, honestly. I don't know what it was, but that's not like me. I mean, I'm getting to the gym. It ain't going to be like that for the rest of the season, I'll tell you that much, but I mean, just had to focus, I guess, focus on the line. I guess my head won't there, and it showed. Yeah, but I mean, the focus was there from the rest of your team tonight. Everyone really contributed. 33 to 6 guys outscored outscored them on the bench. I mean, how good is that to see your team really contribute? That's good. That's good. We had other games where we scored. I mean, where the bench stepped up, our teammates stepped up. It's never it's never really a one person show. I mean, I guess like unless them nights like phenomenal nights, but games like this, this is what we're going to need going to the tournament. I mean, they know they know who to stop, they know who to try to stop. Other people got to step up and that's what our teammates do. I mean, I said it before, 1 through 15 get it done. And yeah, speaking of 1 through 15, you get Chris McKeachin back. Uh, you know, how, how was he able to, to kind of reinsert himself into the lineup and, and with the team? Um, he's a known shooter, so, I mean, being a known shooter, you got to play defense on him. So he opens the floor up a little bit, not afraid to shoot it. Not saying that nobody else is, but he, he will shoot it. And you got to respect that on the offense, I mean, on the defensive end. So it opens it up a lot, opens up a lot of people. You guys able to get in transition as well, which was a key part of your game after generating all those turnovers. Um, Coach Evans kept saying, rebound and run, rebound and run, rebound and run. That's all he kept preaching, so, I mean, Rebounded, we got out. That's how we play, though. So we was kind of shying away from how we normally play, but we know now we got to turn that back on. Turn that back on. Right here with the the one and only Chris McKeachin. I mean, teammates really glad that you're back in the lineup. You know, for you, you know, how, how did it feel out there? Um, it feels like another first game, like welcoming myself back again to another game. Um, it feels good to be back out there, though. I'm just trying to get trying to get get, get W's for real. That's all. No, I guess that. I guess you know initially how how were you how were you you know getting your feet wet and trying to get back in it then the chemistry that you had with the team when you were on um, the floor. Um, usually some games when I usually like start off I try to let, I try to force the game to come to me but this game I was trying to be more humble just let the game come to me and um, just find my teammates in good spots and let them get some good shots off. You also did some shots as well. I mean when you hit that three pointer was it like hey I, I, I think I'm back? No, I just felt normal. It's nothing special. I I missed a lot of shots actually. I can't believe I missed. A, I had a little. Jump shot I missed in the corner. I can't believe I missed that. And yeah, I'm just getting back a little feel for it. Um, everything feels normal, though. I just make sure I get my stamina back up. We hear your team saying, you know, like, we really, really missed you, really need you in the lineup. You know, how, how does it make you feel from, from the leadership standpoint? I feel like they value me on the court. They, I feel valuable. I feel like my teammates really do appreciate what I help bring to the team. And um, usually when I'm out there, we get we got better team chemistry, and we have a more balanced team, like a better offensive attack and better defensive players overall. So I bring a little bit of, a little bit of help to both sides of the court, both sides of the offense. Joe Cook here with head coach Anthony Evans following the 76-68 victory over the Howard Bison, stopping the three-game losing streak at home here in Echoes Hall. Uh, Guys hitting shots tonight. I mean, 56% in the first half, end of the game shooting 52% against that zone. It really opens everything up, doesn't it? Absolutely. You know, you have to hit shots in order to get people out of zones. You know, we can run any play we want to. If you don't make shots, it doesn't matter. Yep, and uh, 
one of, one of the guys that was contributing hitting shots, Chris McKeachin, he's back. You know, how did you see um, his return change the team? Well, it was good to have him back because he's a threat on the floor. Any times he's on the perimeter, the defense has to play him. So when he hit the first one, you know, it, it, it was good because I know his confidence is coming back. The team, you know, is, is, is encouraging him to shoot the basketball. So it's good to have him back. And then on the defensive side, you know, what, what changed from the first half to the second half? You were able to generate more turnovers. Well, the guards started to pressure up a little bit more and, and try to get into the passing lanes. We got them driving to the basket. You know, they fumbled the ball a little bit. We picked up a few of them and we were off to the races. And one of the guards that, you know, they, they made a contribution in that part was Rob Hampton. I mean, at the beginning of the game, he really came out and was, was aggressive. He really set the tone tonight. Well, there's something that we've been missing the, the past three games. You know, I think he was a little banged up with the knee. Uh, tonight he came out, he looked good in the beginning, and he kept it going you know, throughout the game. And uh, I was talking to Kyle. He said, you know, it's it like almost normal now. The bench contributing 33 points tonight. Howard with only six. I mean, you're just plugging guys in, and, and they contribute right away. Well, that's, that's the mark of a good team. You know, when one person doesn't uh, do what we need to, we can insert somebody else when he pick, picks up the slack. So um, that's the team's coming along. You know, we've got four or five games left in the season. We've got to get Chris back into the flow of it. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm positive and, and I'm encouraged by what I see. All right. And, and so are the Spartan fans. Let's see if the Spartans can generate another winning streak here. They stopped their three-game losing streak with this victory tonight. For more on NSU's men's basketball, as always, NSUSpartans.com. Chill Cook here wrapping up the women's game. They also hosted the Howard Bison this evening. North State, another loss. This time the final, 66-49. to 49. Story in this game, Spartans cannot hit any shots. Howard was on fire in the first half, shooting 54%. Spartans shot only 20%, 5 of 24 from the floor. Shot a little bit better in the second half, but only 35%. Ended with 28% from the game. Just not a good shooting outing for the Spartans. Howard was led by Sadadia Dow, 38 points and 10 rebounds. The Spartans did better job than Tamaria Holmes, who in the first meeting, Howard dropped 24, a career game for her, but they pretty much held her in check. But unfortunately, the Spartans could not hit any shots to contend with the Howard's blitz. Howard had a 23-point lead, the largest lead of the game. The Spartans did come to close with a couple of Whitney Long and Sarah Daly, three-pointers. Cut it to 12, about eight minutes to go. The Spartans couldn't get any closer than that. And another loss for the Lady Spartans. For more on NSU women's basketball, as always, NSUSpartans.com.